You know, we always joke you can drink a bucket of our wine, you'll still feel fantastic the next day because there's nothing in there to do you any harm. Hi, my name's Niels Verberg. I'm the owner and winemaker at Luddite Wines. We're a small family farm, literally on the slopes of the Hoek Mountains. And, uh, if Pot River wasn't on a hill, you'd be able to see the sea. Perfect growing conditions for Shiraz, which is what we're uh, passionate about. Handcrafted wines, as the name Luddite says. Luddites were the uh, band of rebels in the Industrial Revolution. They were worried they were going to lose their jobs to machines. So they went and they smashed all the machines, they burnt the factories down. I worked in some really big cellars around the world and I was horrified at the amount of mechanization and technology. For me, it's about trying to get the grape into the bottle with as minimal interference as possible. So just good grapes, good natural yeast and good barrels and that's it. We walked before we ran, we put the vineyards in first, so we planted our first vineyards in 2001. Built a shed to put the wine in, which we started the brand with 14 grapes, then planted some more vineyards and finally built the cellars. You know, you stand on this deck outside and you, you look back and you think, there was nothing here. And it's been quite a journey, it's been exciting, it's been quite fraught. We're still paying the loan back, but we'll get there in the end. We do a bit of Africa burn stuff. We, we are old burners, I suppose. We like a bit of field art. The end poles we've turned into pencils. You know, just to have a bit more fun. Certainly, if we're not having fun, we, we don't want to do it. And we, we always like to have a laugh at ourselves as well. Generally speaking, we try and do the tastings either myself or my daughter, or certainly one of the family members. When you've got wines that you're handcrafting, it's nice to follow it all the way through and, and actually do the tasting and the sales with the public. So I joined the Cape Winemakers Guild in 2004. The most exciting thing about the Guild for me is the sharing of knowledge. You're not just the only guy making Mouvad, there's probably another 10 guys making Mouvad. So you can pick up the phone, find out what the, what the difficulties are. That camaraderie, that mutual respect, all forms the whole into you know, making better wines. My Cape Winemakers Guild wines, certainly in the earlier years, were Shiraz based with a little bit of experimentation with some Cabernet and a bit of Mourvad, the other varietals that we have on our farm. I've never successfully got a, a white wine on the Guild auction, but that's the nature of the selection process on the Guild. The wine has to be exemplary and this year putting a Shannon forward, so I'm hoping that the Shannon will get selected and then we're also putting a 100% Mourvad forward. We started with virgin land up here, it was just bush and we literally planted the vineyards, taken the whole way through. For me the most exciting thing is walking into a restaurant and there's four people huddled around one of your bottles. That is, I mean it's priceless. 